Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name's George and today we are going to talk about knitting. Some of you that have been following me for a while will know that I have done more than a few YouTube videos. The most popular ones of these have been the videos on how to make the Aldi Harry Potter kits and the Aldi Shark kits. Uh, lots of people have managed to find me via googling Aldi craft kits. Um, I am nothing to do with Aldi, I just want to put that out there, although at this point I do feel like they should be paying me. And a few people have been in touch asking me how to do a whale. Um, I don't have the kit, but somebody has sent me a few lines of the pattern, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. So we're going to talk about basic cast on, knit, purl, and increasing using knit front and back. If anybody wants any help for their Aldi crochet projects, I have recently written a blog post detailing all you need to know about uh, crochet, amigurumi style, and that will be linked below. If you've got any questions, please leave me some comments and I will do my best to get back to you. So the things I've got with me here today, I have got this um, Knitcraft Hey Baby Double Knit Weight Yarn from Hobbycraft and some slightly bendy uh, bamboo knitting needles. Uh, these are four millimeter knitting needles, but obviously if you're making the whale from the Aldi kit, then you will have all the stuff that you need in that kit. Just in case there's anybody out there who is having difficulty starting their whale projects from scratch, I'm gonna start with the cast on and do everything from the beginning, just so you know whether you've done it right or not. I'm gonna make a slip knot. And to do that, I wrap the yarn around my finger so that there's an X, then put my thumb on the X where it crosses over and slip the loop off my finger. Then just bring the tail of the yarn through that loop and then you've got a loop in your yarn. I put my loop over the needle, pull on the tail and it tightens everything up. So to cast on, put your needle in the back of the loop Take the yarn and wind it round the back needle and then you've got a loop which you're then going to bring over your original needle. So let's look at that again. Take your right hand knitting needle and place it through the back of the loop on the left hand knitting needle. With your yarn, wrap around the right hand needle and use your right hand needle to pull the yarn through and make a loop. Take that loop and put it onto the left hand needle. You're going to cast on 10 stitches. I should tell you at this point, I am right handed. So if you are left handed, swap your lefts and rights around for this video. So we're going to knit now. So the first row is knit 10. Hold the right hand needle and just as you did on the cast on you're going to put it behind the left hand needle wrap the yarn around the right hand needle bring through a loop but this time push up that first stitch off the left hand needle right hand needle through the back of the stitch on the left hand needle yarn goes around the right hand needle, you bring a loop onto the right hand needle and you pull the loop off the left hand needle. So now all of your stitches have transferred onto your right hand needle and your left hand needle has got nothing on there. So swap them over. We're going to purl now and again slightly different but very similar to what you've just done. So instead of going through the back which would be like this. You're going to go through the front like this and then you can wrap the yarn around the right hand needle again, bring a loop through onto the right hand needle and pass your first stitch off the left hand needle. So I'll show you again. Into the front, yarn around, take that loop through onto the right hand needle and pull it off the left hand needle until you get to the end. 
So now you've cast on and you've done a row of knit stitches and a row of purl stitches. We're going to do row number three now. So the pattern reads knit one, increase. And we have to do that five times. The increase that it wants you to do is a knit front and back. So we're going to knit one, which is what we would be doing normally anyway. Now we're going to do our increase. So take our right hand needle and pass it through the stitch behind the left hand needle, just like you would do for an ordinary knit stitch. Wind your yarn around the right hand needle and bring a loop through. So you can see I've got two loops on my right hand needle, but I haven't yet taken the stitch off of the left hand needle. What we're going to do is bring the point of the right hand needle behind the left hand needle and then we're going to put the right hand needle into the back of the stitch again. Now I don't know, you can see that on there. So once you've done that you bring your yarn around the right hand needle again and push your loop through onto the right hand needle. So now you've got three loops on your right hand needle and you can now take the stitch off the left hand needle. We're gonna knit one and now we're gonna do the increase again. So right hand needle goes into the stitch behind the left hand needle and the yarn goes around the needle. We bring the right needle through with a loop of yarn on and we leave the stitch on the left hand needle. Then take the point of the right hand needle behind the left hand needle and bring the right hand needle through the back of the stitch. Wind the yarn around the right hand needle again and bring that loop through to the front. Then you can take the stitch off the left hand needle. So once you've done that, you can purl. Now you've done your row of purl stitches, you're ready to go on again with knit two and increase. I hope you guys found that video useful and I hope that it's helped you to get started with your whale projects from Aldi So Crafty. Um, if anybody else has any more problems with any of their projects please feel free to get in touch with me via my social media channels which I will link below for those of you that are interested and until next time I will see you again. Goodbye!